Researchers in the United Kingdom are preparing to begin a controversial study with the hopes of speeding up the development of a coronavirus vaccine. They are planning to use 90 healthy young volunteers and infect them intentionally with COVID-19. It's called a human challenge study. The Imperial College London is part of this study. Our News Nation researchers spoke with an immunologist from the college about exactly what this entails. So the, the plan with the trials at this stage are to just very cautiously administer low doses of virus to volunteers. And we're hoping to be able to start that very soon after Christmas. At the moment, we're at the stage of having isolated the virus that we wish to use for inoculation. And we're expanding that up into um, certified lots of virus, which will be checked for sterility and for purity. At the moment, the volunteers that we're selecting are very much those at very, very lowest risk of having severe uh, disease. So they're between age between 18 and 30. Um, anybody with any sort of predisposing uh, factor at all um, will be excluded from these early stages. You know, we do appreciate that in future it may be necessary to open up the studies more widely. But at this stage, we're just focusing on those who have the very, very lowest risk. Mm -hmm. So they're, they're brought into the uh, quarantine center, they are screened, and then they remain for two to two and a half weeks. N nobody uh, leaves the center until they have two um, sequential negative PCRs and also negative viral cultures. So we're checking that there's no excretion of live virus um, before they leave the unit. They'll be compensated for financial loss, but they won't be uh, paid a fee that we think is an inducement. Um, our ethics committees are very keen that we don't try to induce people by offering them a large amount of money. So that is basically just paying them for their loss of earnings and for travel and, and so on. So it's not supposed to be an inducement. People don't typically en enroll in these studies in order to make money, um, but a lot of the people who do want to offer themselves to as volunteers actually have a genuine interest in uh, saving humanity and in trying to um, help investigators with with very important scientific questions. I mean, clearly there are ethical issues with making people potentially unwell by doing something to them, like infecting with a virus. We've been doing these type of studies for many hundreds of volunteers who've been through our hands doing the, these studies, not with coronavirus, but with other common cold viruses and also with influenza. So we've infected volunteers with um, the pandemic strain of influenza, the H1N1 swine flu. And I could never have imagined back in 2009 that we would actually be doing that. But we have done that and it's been a very successful study in terms of finding out a lot of information about influenza and, it, and its cause. I mean, uh, our ethicists um, say that they also have questions about the ethics of not doing a study um, at times when there's so much to be gained by doing studies of this type. You know, if it is practically possible to do these studies, then there is, in a way, an ethical imperative to do them. And we will be, as I say, doing it under the strictest conditions, which we hope will very, very much reduce the possibility of anyone getting any severe adverse effects.